everyone and welcome to Real Yoga. I'm Hannah, this is Baloo, and today we're doing a practice for after you've been on a really long walk. So for me, I take loads of long walks around the city and the parks with this guy and his friend. <laughs> and I tend to feel it in my hips and my lower back when I get home. So that's the areas of the body we'll target today. It's going to be a really short practice because we've already been on a really big walk, just enough to find a bit of relief so we can chill for the rest of the day. All right, grab your stretchy pants and I'll meet you on the mat. So we'll begin today in child's pose, bringing your big toes together and the tops of your feet down to the mat. Make sure that your thighs and your knees are close together. Sink your weight into your hips and start to walk your hands forward. We're not in a very active child's pose today, so you can let your elbows rest down to the mat so there's no real tension or anything in your arms. And then here, just try to feel that your hips are as heavy as they can possibly be. So in some cases, mine included, your hips don't quite touch your heels, and that's totally fine. If it's more comfortable for you to place a blanket or something underneath, go for it. But otherwise, try not to stress so much about needing to really feel that connection. And instead, see if you can think about having really, really heavy hips. And sometimes that's just enough. Take a deep breath in here. Feel your rib cage expand laterally. And exhale, let it out slowly through the mouth. Again, inhale, rib cage expand out to the side. And then exhale, find that weight, that heaviness in your hips. Perfect. All right, there's no graceful way of getting into this next move, but essentially we're going to plonk our right butt cheek to the outside of our right foot. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And then once you've got it, you can bring your forehead back down to the mat. Try to relax your shoulders, relax your arms. And for some of you, you might be thinking, why does this hurt so much? This pose here is kind of similar to pigeon. So if you hate pigeon, you're not going to like this one either. See how much you can breathe. Nice and deep into that right hip. Again, every exhale, find that heaviness. See if you can settle into it. We won't be here long. And just as ungracefully, we're going to somehow get ourselves back to center. And then we're going to plunk our left butt cheek to the outside of our left foot. And once again, release your head down to the mat. Rearrange your arms, however you need to make sure that they feel okay. Ooh, bail us. Bye, buddy. <laughs> I swear I just went, oh. <laughs> oh, I really hope the mic picks that up. <laughs> All right, deep exhales as you release heavily into those hips. Nice. And then once again, press into your hands to somehow bring yourself back, your heels back in line with your hips, and then come forward onto all fours. Beautiful. We're not going to stay here long. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and straight away lift your hips up high with super bent knees and downward facing dog. So we're going to keep the knees bent here and then slowly start to straighten one leg at a time, like you're pedaling on one of those home shopping network exercise machines that my mom definitely had. <laughs> and maybe start to twist and turn a little in the hips, just finding really juicy, organic movement here that feels good in your body. We're not doing anything super serious today. We're just taking some time to stretch out after our really big, long walk. All right, come to stillness. Inhale, look in between your hands. And exhale to step your right foot forward. You can help it to get there if it didn't quite make it. Drop your left knee down. Come onto the top of your back foot. Beautiful. So here we are at a low lunge. Make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle. And then you can stay here with your fingertips pressing into the mat and inhale to reach your chest forward. Spine is nice and long. 
this is a happy place to stay, getting a nice stretch in your legs. Or second option, interlace the fingertips, bring your hands to your right knee, and then press into your hands as you push your knee away from you, and then you come into this version of your lunge. Also a nice place to stay. We're not going to sink super deep in our hips or anything today. We're going to keep lifting out of our waist. So feel like as your butt sends itself down towards the mat, you want to lift up from your belly button all the way out the crown of your head. And final option, if you want it, reach your arms up to the sky. Beautiful. Take a full breath in here. And then exhale to float your hands back down to the mat. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Bring your left hand down to the mat or to a block. And on your next inhale, reach your right arm all the way up to the sky and find this nice open twist. Beautiful. Inhale to lean back. And then exhale, can you close the gap between your left ribs and your right thigh, maybe? Beautiful. If you're not already, look towards the top hand, maybe give your fingers a little wiggle. And we're gonna follow the hand with our gaze as we send the hand, the other way around, as we send the hand towards the back edge of the mat. As that starts to happen, start to roll to the outside edges of both of your feet and sink down through your hips. Who's that? All right, so now our arm is reaching towards the back edge of our mat. Our left arm is still pushing strongly away from the mat, so we're not dumping into the shoulder there. And we're really finding this big opening in our left hip, our right hip, maybe your left also. Beautiful, we're here for one more breath. And then bend your bottom leg Bring your top knee to stack on top of your bottom knee, and here we are in Gomukhasana. This does not have to be your most perfect Gomukhasana pose ever. We won't be here super long. We've got our right knee on top, so let's bring the right hand down to the mat beside our right hip. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, and exhale to lean over to the right, find this big side body stretch. Should feel really nice, deep breath in, Rotate your rib cage a little higher to the sky. Exhale. Nice job. Take another breath in here. And as you exhale, paint your hands back towards the front edge of your mat and then come back into your downward facing dog. Nice. You can once again give it a little pedal here, take whatever you need. And we're not going to waste any time coming to the other side. So inhale, look between your hands. And exhale to step your left foot forward in between your hands and drop your right knee down to the mat. Beautiful. All right, basta numero uno is here with our fingertips on the mat and our heart reaching forward. Happy little place to be. You're welcome to stay here. Or you can interlace your fingers, bring them to your left knee and press the leg away from you as you lift up through the chest. Nice. If you're here, Really feel that you're lifting from your waist up and at the same time grounding down through your pelvis. So feel your inner thighs start to sort of energetically squeeze towards one another. All right, last option. Inhale to reach your fingertips up to the sky and exhale, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Beautiful. Take a final breath in wherever you are. And then exhale to float your hands down to the mat, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Right hand stays planted. Inhale, left arm goes high. Lift your hips a little higher. And then lean back as you find your twist. Beautiful, another breath in. Find space through your chest. Exhale, lean back. Again, look up towards your top fingers if you haven't already. And then follow your hand and your gaze. Yeah, they are right this time as you send that hand to the back edge of your mat and start to roll onto the outside edges of both feet. Deep hip opener here. It's probably not feeling so amazing <laughs> if your hips are tight, but I promise it will. <laughs> It'll pay off. Make sure again you're not tagging too much weight in your bottom arm. You're pushing away from the mat. One more breath here. And then slowly exhale as you bend the bottom leg and bring the top leg to stack on top. I'm going to come and spin around to face you guys again. Lovely. 
All right, so we've got the left knee on top now. We're in Golden Kasana, or a version of. If your knee is all the way up here, it's no problem. It's all good. All right, left knee on top, left hand next to your left hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Big stretch it through the right rib cage, and then exhale to lean to the left. Side body bend, beautiful. Inhale, rotate your rib cage to the sky. Exhale, find your deep side stretch. And on your next inhale, bring both hands back to the top edge of your mat and swing yourself back into downward facing dog. Final one. Take whatever you need here. You can twist and turn and bend, and then slowly walk your feet to the center of your mat. Cross one ankle over the other, and bring yourself down into a comfortable seat. Nice. Once you get there, sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Lift your chest to your thumbs, and then close down your eyes. Just take a moment to notice how you feel after that practice. Take a final full deep breath in through the nose and exhale, let it out the mouth. Beautiful. Open your eyes gently. Thank you so much for sharing that practice with me today and I can't wait to see you next week. Take it easy. Namaste.